Aloha and good morning from a car somewhere in the countryside and if you're very lucky I might show you a little bit of the countryside in a moment. So today I wanted to talk to you about the Hawaiian concept of the power of names. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Dr. Jane Lewis and I've been teaching Huna now for all oh, about 12, 13 years and studying it for about 20. And the power of names is all about the energy that we put into names. So I'm going to be talking about why it's important, uh, what we're really talking about here, and how you can use that concept of the power of names to help you in different ways in your life. I chose the power of names because usually with these Facebook Saturday Facebook Lives, I have a, I have a good idea of what it is that I want to talk about. But this week, somehow, I didn't. So... I opened my Huna manual, trusting in the, in, in the sorceress energy, the energy from source, opened up the manual and came to a page and at the top of the page it was the assumption of names, the law of names. So names it is. So names is all about the power and vibration that a name has and the easiest way to explain it really is just to talk to you about, to tell you the assumption and then I can go into the whys and whatnot. So names, knowing the true and complete name of a phenomenon or entity gives you complete control over it. In ancient languages like Hawaiian, the name is a definition of and captures the vibratory essence of that which is named. It invokes or evokes that vibration. If you change the name, you change the person. And that's why in ancient times, initiates were given new names. So why is that important? Why is that interesting for us? Well, when you name something, you give it a power and you give it a vibration. So if you're naming kids, if you name your car, a lot of people name, name their car or their boat or their their dog, their pet. When you name something, you're attributing a vibration to it. And from an energetic perspective, you're bringing in that energy. If you, if you know numerology, from a numerological perspective, you're bringing a particular numerical energy. And in numerology, they talk about master numbers and num numbers, of, numbers of power. So thinking about the name and what the meaning of the name is and what the even what the numerolog numerological power of the name is is really is really useful and actually very important i don't know about you but when i was a kid my dad had a nickname for me and it was only my dad who ever used it nobody else ever used it but it had a certain power that tied me into my childhood it was quite a childish nickname and there came a point in my life dad would give me books for, for presents and he'd always put in in the books he'd always put my nickname and there came a point I must have been I don't know it's probably about 30 by this point where I asked him not to because it just felt too childish and I would pick up the book open the book and there would be this childhood nickname staring at me so he stopped doing it. And all the books would say to Jane, love from daddy. And the weird thing was that after a while, I started to miss my childhood nickname because he still called it to me face to face, but I started to miss it. <laughs> and I ended up saying, it's okay, you can keep using it. Because although it was childish, it was also that something that bonded me uniquely to my dad. In some cultures, uh, the um, uh, people will have a nickname that's only known in the family. Chinese culture is well known for this, that there's the, the, the secret family name, and then there's the name that's known outside the family. And the reason for this was that if you knew the secret name of something, then you had power over it. And in the Hawaiian system, they have, they have a, a, a pan... It's kind of monotheistic, but pantheistic at the same time. At one level, all is one, and there are gods and goddesses that are manifestations of different types of energy. So in the Hawaiian system, uh, the creator, 
the, the highest masculine energy on the planet, Kane, has a secret name. The, the feminine energy, the highest feminine energy on the planet, Navahine, has a secret name. And if you knew the secret names, if you know the secret names, then it gave you the ability to bring in the power of Kane or Navahine. Now we learn the secret names and learning the secret names in, in the Huna that I teach and learning the secret names gives us the capability to bring that energy in more effectively. And out of respect, we only use those names privately, just like you would use a nickname privately. One of the things that's really useful to do is to look up your own name. Now, my name, Jane, means um, gift. Of, it, it's kind of somewhere between gift of God and God is merciful, God is gracious. It's from the French, Johanna, which is from the old root of uh, John, uh, Johan, all those kind of names, uh, Jane, Joan, they're all from the same, the same root, originally, originally a biblical name. So it's worth looking up your own name to see what your name means. If you're naming kids or pets, look at what the name actually means. What is it you're really calling your child or your pet? Because vibrationally, you're going to call in a different energy depending on what name you give the child or the pet. And some names just don't have a great vibrational energy. So why would you call yourself or your child something like that? When we change, when we ch I, I have a lot of friends who have a middle name and as a kid they had a first name, let's say Anne, and then they have a middle name, let's say Georgina, and they decide to call themselves Georgina rather than Anne because it feels better, it feels more comfortable, it says something about them. So it's not just the Hawaiians who understand the power of names, we all understand it at some level. And be aware, if you have a secret name and you give it away, then you're giving other people the opportunity to engage with you at a different vibra vibrational level. I hope that's been interesting for you and possibly even useful. Hi Peter, good to see you and I'll be back again next week, next Saturday. Meantime, if you are interested in this kind of thing, jump on a call with me, secretartofhuna.com backslash diary. And I'm also opening up the Pioneers Club, which is a special membership club. And you can find that at secretartofhuna.com backslash pioneers. Have a great weekend. Look forward to seeing you very soon.